morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody's doing well today. Uh, so welcome to our next webinar. Uh, I have uh, just a couple of things. One is if everyone could make sure that they're muted so that we don't hear any dogs or phones in the background, uh, that would really be great. Um, and so today, in, in case you, for those that don't know us, and most I think most of you do, I just wanted to give a little plug for us. So we're a tour operator slash DMC. Our offices are uh, in New Jersey. Uh, we have offices in Italy and the UK. And Johnny and I are the founders of the company. Uh, we work, so you know, we work strictly with travel agents and helping you guys put together uh, beautiful itineraries throughout Europe. Um, and then just feel free to go to our website uh, to find examples of what we do or, or give us a call. And if you don't have our number, uh, we'll make sure to reach out to you when the webinar is over. Um, and uh, I also want to just say, uh, give thanks to the, the Nîmes Tourist Board, uh, specifically Irene Fenton, uh, the promotion manager for helping us put this together. Uh, she and I have been talking about it for a while, so we're thrilled to do it. Uh, we also want to thank the folks at Pont de Gare, yeah, Eva Recordier, who I'll introduce to you later. You'll you'll meet uh, Eva at uh, at the Pont de Gare. So again, please shut off your mics. Uh, and at the conclusion of the webinar, we've got some fun prizes uh, to give away. So just stay to the very end. And if you have any questions, use the uh, use the chat uh, function at the bottom of the screen. So uh, welcome everybody. So today we're gonna travel to Nîmes, a uh, wonderful town in uh, Occitanie, uh, the region of Southern France, uh, very well located. It's about an hour and 45 minutes Northwest of Marseille, 25 miles from Avignon. Uh, incredible beaches are only an hour away. It's the perfect place to park. Your clients can park themselves and just experience the entire region. Uh, here in New York and New Jersey, it's fall for sure, but in Nîmes, it is still summer. So my, I went to the weather today. It's a sunny, 84 degrees, evenings in the mid 60s. Uh, so, you know, perfect weather for this time of year. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of my own little geekiness. I'm sorry, but a little bit of history. Uh, and you'll hear this over and over again. So Nîmes is the most Roman of cities outside of Italy. Uh, it was founded by the Romans as a colony around a, about 100 BC, and Caesar gave the land to his legion of soldiers. And today, the city is about 150,000 inhabitants. And in those days, it wasn't a small town. It was it had a population of 50, 60,000 people. So you imagine, you know, that size. Uh, they built roads, temples, uh, an aqueduct and one of the largest amphitheaters in the Roman Empire. And we're going to actually be in that in a few minutes. Uh, and one little tidbit of, informa of information that probably many of you already know, but I'm going to throw it out there, is it's the place where denim was created. So denim is denim. Uh, so uh, enough for me, for me. Johnny, uh, it's your turn. So. No, that's OK. You, you said everything perfectly. And uh, this area of France is uh, one of my preferred area, the, the, the Provence and the south of France is a fantastic uh, travel destination. Uh, plenty of uh, things to do and to visit and to discover. Uh, and uh, this area of France has really everything from the, from the mountains to the, the sea. Uh, uh, I cannot tell about the uh, gastronomy that uh, Sophie will uh, will talk later during the the presentation, and uh, I suggest uh, all of you, if you have client uh, that would like to uh, travel to France, to push this destination because really worth. Okay, so e e easy to easy easy access by okay. airport by trains highways. You can do drive driving is easy. Um, and we'll present this, we can send this slide. You guys can see the slides, all of this presentation, both the video and the PowerPoint will be available on our website uh, in the next couple of days. 
So the what I what I'm going to do now is I'm going to introduce you to Sophie. Uh, just give me one sec. I uh, all right. So uh, so Sophie's been living in Neem for the last thirty years, and she's been working as a guide for the for the Neem Tourist Board since 1987. Uh, she was born in Switzerland. Uh, and is a Swiss American. So her her mother is from Philadelphia. So shout out to Philly. Uh, and we're thrilled to take her around the city. And we're going to start our tour in the amphitheater. And that's where Sophie is right now live. So. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. And welcome to Neem. Yeah, Thanks. we are in the amphitheater in the setting sun. It's wonderful in this season. It's very summery weather, and uh, so we're gonna we're going to um, yeah discover the city uh, as you see on the slide. I don't know if you can see it now, but it's true that Nîmes was considered one of the fifty-two destinations to discover in twenty twenty-three in the New York Times. So we're pretty proud and happy to be able to uh, introduce this city to you at least. <laughs> so we we'll, we'll, we're we're going to push that number up so that it's oh. like. Right, for 24. Yeah, exactly, we can keep going, we can keep going. Yeah, the city won't change, the amphitheater is gonna be there, it's waiting for you anyway. And yeah, it's it's a medium-sized town with 155,000 inhabitants and we have, uh, yeah, over 300 days of sunshine a year and this is a testimony to it. By the way, autumn is really a wonderful season. I mean, it's beautiful all year round because we have a lot of sunshine, but uh, summer can get pretty warm. Some people like heat and they're happy. <laughs> Otherwise, autumn is a little bit easier to handle than summer. And of course, we were discussing this before, but it's true that it's a strategic lo location. We'll go into more detail about that afterwards. And it's this very ancient city with a lot of Roman monuments, but we'll see that there's a lot of contemporary art and architecture as well. And uh, we'll see that quite a few famous designers and architects have been working here. And and then we can also talk about food and we can talk about these uh, PDO products, which we have. And we have wonderful restaurants, also Michelin star restaurants and um, and a whole series of events as well. I mean, it's it's uh, yeah, it's a very active city with a whole lot of festivals. So we're going to be able to discover this in more detail. You can go next, maybe. Thank you. 
Excellent. Yes, so we can start with the beginning and talk about the Roman monuments. You can see on this slide, you've got the amphitheater, you've got a wonderful temple, which has just been listed on the UNESCO World Heritage. Uh, you've also got the, uh, the remains of a Roman sanctuary and the in beautiful gardens and a tower. Next. Okay, maybe sit down. And also, yes, contemporary architecture. The, the first building that you see, which is all white, is the, our archaeological museum, which is facing the arena. And then you can also see a um, contemporary art museum, which is the lower building on the right-hand side, plus a lot of other elements in the town, which were designed by contemporary artists. And street art. Yeah, there's a festival in September, a rather important festival now. It's become a sort of international, uh, which is known as the Festival de Ouf. Uh, and uh, and you have street artists who work in a in a sort of district which is north of the center. Uh, so that's a, another aspect of uh, yeah creation, contemporary creation. Does that stay up, or does it just change? Uh, it's uh, a lot of it stays up. It, and then it sort of evolves over time because uh, sometimes you have owners of houses who say, oh, I would like to participate as well. And so do my facade or whatever. And so some change and some stay. Why right. not? So it's constant evolution over the year. And food, obviously. Yes, you can see uh, uh, grapevines. Obviously, we have this region which is known as Costière de Nîmes, which is a beautiful PDO. Uh, vineyard, and it's actually the oldest vineyard in France because the very first vines were planted here by the Greeks 2,500 years ago. And then we have uh, olives as well. That was also introduced by the Greeks, so it's an ancient tradition. But today we have this tapenade, which is wonderful, and beautiful olive oil as well, plus other local spe specialties such as brandade, which is a cod paste. And uh, we have a covered market that we will maybe talk more, more about, which is extraordinary. It's a daily market and you can find all this wonderful produce there. And yeah, so olives and uh, petit pâté, goat cheese uh, and the olive oil that I already mentioned. Plus another specialty, which is called the croquant villaret, which is a very hard, it looks good, but it's very tasty and very delicate. Thanks. Goat cheese. Uh, goat cheese, yeah, goat cheese and sheep cheese, but basically the Pilardon, the local specialty, is goat cheese, yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, and we have these chefs who are Michelin star chefs, Michelin star chefs rather, uh, with uh, a restaurant which has just recently had its first Michelin star, which is called Rouge. And then we have also uh, the Duende, which is uh, the restaurant of a, of a ma rather major hotel that you'll be visiting afterwards. And uh, and Michel Kaiser also, who's a famous chef. So uh, yeah, it's there's great food in this town. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That pleases all of us. <laughs> yeah, and then you can play golf as well. There are two other uh, important golf courses. One of them is one of the actually one of the oldest golf courses in France, and it's a beautiful location. I don't know if you see the building on the slide, which is to the left, but it's it's reminiscent of the White House, which is sort of surprising. But um, but it does look very much like the White House, and um, so these are these are beautiful golf courses. Next, and yeah, so we are located. We have other sites which are in the UNESCO World Heritage. Um, there's a Romanesque church which is just about twenty minutes ride from here, which is called Saint Gilles du Gard. We have also uh, the, the gorges of a river, which is known as the Gardon, and uh, and the the landscape there is listed on the UNESCO World Heritage as well. And then we have a beautiful region, which is a sort of marshy area. It's the delta of the Rhone River, which is known as the Camargue, and that's absolutely fascinating to visit as well. Next. And yeah, so you can you can uh, also do all sorts of activities. There's kayaking, for example. You can uh, ride a bike. We also have fat bikes, for example. So don't need to be too uh, too very, yeah too much in shape, I would say, uh, because also part of the region is very very flat, so that's nice. And then you have hillier areas as well, and uh, and so you can hike and you can bike and you can go on your boat and you can visit the region. Now we're going to tour the city. We have a video now. Starting with the garden. Yeah. 
These are beautiful gardens that date back to the 18th century, and they're among the very first public gardens in the history of France. So we'll have a look at them now. This elegant Roman ruin is known as the Temple of Diana, even if today we think it probably was a library. So this is the spring, this is the cradle of the city. The first inhabitants settled here because there's a lot of water. It later became a very large Roman town with many monuments. We'll be seeing the Tour Magne, which is at the top of the hill. And in the 18th century, they rediscovered the rain, remains of a Roman sanctuary, and they decided to design a, this beautiful garden, which is very popular for visitors and also for the inhabitants of Nîmes. So here we've got the Roman tower, the Tour Magne, which is a, an extraordinary monument. It's a lookout tower. And today you can actually climb up to the top and there's a, an extraordinary panoramic view over the city. And this is the Roman amphitheater. We're so lucky and we're really very proud because it's the best preserved of all Roman amphitheaters. The whole height is still standing. It's 1900 years old, and in Roman times it was used for gladiator fights, obviously. But um, today we also use it for shows. It's a, it's a place you can visit, and uh, there are regularly shows that are held inside the amphitheater. And now we have a very modern building, which is known as Carré d'Art, and that's a contemporary art museum come library, which was designed by Norman Foster, he's a British architect, in 1993. And here we're on the terrace restaurant of the top of Carré d'Art, the Contemporary Art Museum, with a lovely view over our next uh, stop, which is going to be the Maison Carré, this beautiful Roman temple. From here, you can see it in its setting, and you have this lovely view over the rooftops of our beautiful old town. This really seems like a rather exotic creature, but actually it is part of the coat of arms of the city of Nîmes. And um, on the same square, you actually have a crocodile and palm tree, and this dates back to a ancient times to Roman times, a coin that was minted here uh, 2,000 years ago. The old town of Nîmes is small, but as we know, small is beautiful. These last 30 years, there's been a lot of restoration work which has been undertaken. It's become a pedestrian zone. So it's lovely to do your shopping in a relaxed manner and to enjoy the sidewalk cafes, for example. And if you want to go off the beaten track, then you can discover another part of Nîmes where street artists perform each year in September during the festival which is known as L'Expo de Ouf. And if you hire a guide of Nîmes, you will even be able to visit these uh, townhouses which are fascinating because this one, for example, here dates back to the 17th century. So you'll get a glimpse of the interior of these houses and with this absolutely beautiful atmosphere. So this is the heart of Nîmes, where in France food is so important. And this is known as Leal, it's the covered market. And you can find anything you like, from cheese to meat to vegetables, wine. And of course, it's summer right now, so you have melon, you have tomato, you have all these wonderful local products that you can enjoy. I'm 
Another local produce is the olive, which is grown either as a table olive or pressed for oil. The area south of Nîmes is known as the Costière, and that's where our very nice wines of the appellation Costière de Nîmes are grown. You can find all three colors, and these lovely fruity wines are to be enjoyed. Here we are in Saint-Gilles. This is just a, a short half hour away from Nîmes. You can even get here by bus. And this is a masterpiece of uh, Romanesque architecture. It dates back to the 12th century with all this beautiful carving uh, that are the remains of a major abbey that existed here in the Middle Ages. If you want to go hiking or biking, there is a whole diversity of landscapes around Nîmes to discover, with many natural and historic treasures, such as the Gorge du Gardon or the local scrubland, which is known as Garrigue, dotted with its fascinating capitel. And those are dry stone huts. That's great, thanks. That was just a great, uh, that was a great video, uh, Sophie. Beautiful, uh, beautifully done. I, I have a question for you. Someone had asked about the street art. Uh, so is the street art, can you watch the artists doing it? Is it? Yes, during the during the festival, during the Festival de Ouf, you can actually see the street artists working. Uh, they work in the weeks preceding, uh, yeah. So that's something that uh, yeah, the work in progress is visible. Well, that's Definitely. great. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank, thanks. Thanks for that. Uh, so now we're going to give you some examples of some itineraries that uh, we've kind of put together that you can use to, uh, you know, to get a better sense of the region and what kind of programs you can create. So, Sophie, if you want to go on to the so here's one. Uh, you know, it's a great base camp uh, to 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 travel around in. Uh, I'm wondering, Sophie, are, are, I think that you may be frozen. <laughs> I don't know, uh, but that's all right. Uh, so here, here's one. You can you can you can see from here that there's plenty of things to do. Uh, you can use this as a as a base camp, and then if you want, you can continue on to Nice. Uh, you can go into Marseille. You can go into Carcassonne. For that matter, you can go into Spain. Uh, you want to move to the next one, Johnny? So this, I want to say this itinerary, this what this blue line that you see there uh, from Nîmes, it covers this uh, uh, east part of uh, the area with Avignon, Les Beaux de Provence, Saint Remy de Provence, Arles, uh, the which are a very, very, uh, very nice area. Uh, Les Beaux de Provence is the area of the Alpi, uh, which is a very, very unique uh, uh, type of uh, uh, landscape. It is a really uh, a very, very nice, uh, uh, very, very nice destination. It's a, a tour that can be done in a day and is a really, a really uh, something uh, uh, that uh, is the best for me, is the best highlight of the area. And uh, you're talking uh, about, to give you an idea of sense of time to travel anywhere from 45 minutes. This area, the, this area is very, is very, very, very uh, small. Uh, uh, Hi, Sophie. Are you back? No sound? Yes, can you hear me? Yes, yes, perfectly well. Uh, I don't know if you can hear me. Yes, you can hear me because I can't hear anybody. Anyway, so Nîmes is right bang in the center. If we see the following slide, maybe, uh, we can also see, so we're between the Camargue. So these are these uh, UNESCO uh, World Heritage Sites, the Bon du Gard that you will be introduced to. We're very close to Provence as well. You can go to Avignon on a, on a day trip as well. Saint-Rémy de Provence, which are also famous destinations. So between the Camargue, the Cévennes, and Provence, we'll move on next slide, maybe, for example. 
Uh, yeah. And then after, uh, no, this slide we've already seen. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, right. maybe a next one. Next slide, John. I, I can't hear you, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, and so here we've got an example of the Camargue with salt flats as well. That's interesting because it's a place where salt is harvested. Most of the table salt in France is harvested here. There's a beautiful Romanesque fortified church in the Camargue and the Abbey of saint gilles this Romanesque church that, you, uh, that I already mentioned, which is on the UNESCO World Heritage, for example. And then next slide. Yeah, and uh, so this is, you can, yeah, it's still this, you can also go to Montpellier, for example, Cinquième du Désert. Uh, Montpellier is the regional capital. Cinquième du Désert is more or less in the mountains. And then you can also, if you go to the Cévennes, you can go on this on this uh, steam engine train, which is, which is great fun to discover the region. And you can go hiking and biking as well. There's also Bamboo Park, which is called Andrews. And there you have to go. Yeah. And the next yeah, so slide, we'll Johnny. Maybe talk. The next the one is we are on the Pont de Gare. Okay, so now we're going to move to uh, the Pont de Gare, and uh, yes. I'm going to introduce you to Eva. Uh, she's the head of promotions for the Pont de Gare. Uh, so, hi, Eva. Johnny, can you hi, have us? Hi, hello. Hello and a warm welcome from the Pont du Gard. So I'm Eva Rocordier, Promotion Manager, and today I'm very pleased to welcome you on this wonderful place on the terrace of the restaurant. Oh, Eva, oh, oh, Eva, one second. Yeah. Uh, Sophie, can you please turn your microphone off? Thank you. Good, go ahead. It's okay? Okay, yeah, perfect. perfect. Um, so <clears throat> we are delighted to present you during this webinar Pont du a UNESCO monument for almost 40 years and the tallest Roman bridge aqueduct in the world. So we will show you a short video to present you our global offer to discover or learn more about this unique place which combine culture, heritage and nature. And after that, I will present you Nagib, manager of the restaurant. So enjoy. Thank you. Beautiful. So, so, hi, Nagib, how are you? <laughs> yes, I'm thank Hi, Nagib. So, could you please tell us a few words about the restaurant, please? Of course. So, hello to all. As Eva said, I'm Nagib, the manager of the restaurant. I would like first to welcome you all. 
So I will just talk to you in a few minutes about the restaurant. So we can we, um, this, Maggie, uh, the site of the if, if, if the, yeah. the sound is a little off, do you have a remote mic that you could just pass over to him? Uh, okay, so. Great, thank you. Can you hear me okay? Very well, thank you. Ah, perfect. So uh, as I was saying, uh, first I would like to welcome you in the restaurant and the, the Pont du Gard. So uh, I'll talk to you about the restaurant located uh, at this uh, magnificent site, as you can see. We are uh, open all year long for lunch, for uh, dinner, and any special occasions, uh, weddings, uh, team building, seminars, and of course, uh, tourist groups. All of our staff here uh, speaks English and uh, French, of course. This way, if you want to come uh, practice your French while uh, enjoying a good meal, a beautiful cocktail, and of course, a wonderful view, you can do it uh, any time of the year. And so is, here we have- what, what, yes. what time does the restaurant close? The restaurant closes with the last client. Normally, we have we are open until uh, nine thirty p.m. for the people to come. But for any groups or any special occasions, we can always arrange, and we don't really have a, a last call, as we say. We we can we can adapt uh, by the demand. Thank you. You're welcome. So uh, I was also saying that we have a menu. The menu is uh, changing uh, all year long, according to the seasons, of course. And uh, we have uh, what we call in France the Maître Restaurateur. Maître Restaurateur is a label, if, for those of you who don't know it, it's a label that you get in France when your food is 100% local, 100% seasonal, and of course, 100% uh, homemade. I'm, I'm hoping to welcome you soon in the, in the restaurant, uh, in this beautiful terrace, or inside, of course, according to the weather. Thank you. Welcome. What a beautiful place to have a meal. Yeah, we are lucky to work in the, such an environment. Yes. And I don't know if you know, but Nagib uh, has a secret. He is our specialist of woman wine testing. So please, Nagib, uh, tell us more information about this exclusive experience about uh, woman wine testing. Yes, true. So this is a very, very unique experience. I don't know if you've already heard about it. But uh, accord of, to go along with this uh, impressive Roman atmosphere, we decided you to offer. We decided to offer uh, what we call a Roman wine tasting. So, what's a Roman wine wine tasting? Actually, we work with a, a local vineyard in Boca, not far from here, and they create the wine from A to Z, exactly like the Romans used to do. Of course, with a different environment, but in the idea, it's exactly like Roman wine. They actually use uh, ancient texts and ancient recipes. They even created the uh, Roman wine press. It's impressive. You have to see it. It's like uh, 2.5 tons. It's huge. And they use it for all the creation of the wine. I even have a little uh, bottle as a sample. It's called Mulsum. It's uh, the, the red wine. And it's very, very nice. Well, that's a great experience. Trust me. I don't want to spoil, I don't want to go into much details this way. I don't spoil the surprise, but I really recommend uh, this uh, unique and impressive uh, experience. And if we, in the tasting, we will even uh, compare it with local French wines, and you will even uh, do a game out of it and try to figure out the key ingredients. It's a very, very uh, unique and wonderful experience. So now come back in Nîmes with Sophie. Uh, to discover more about accommodation. Thank you very much, and we are waiting for you. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Sophie? Yes. Hello. Hey, good. Hello. Yeah, so we were talking about this home base. It's true that Nîmes is really very central, and we've got a whole series of hotels, absolutely charming places, which are sometimes in... Uh, rather older townhouses, which date back to the 17th century, but which were beautifully refurbished as well. There's a lot of atmosphere. We have hotels from two stars to five stars. So the next slide as well, uh, where you can see some of the, get a sense of some of the other hotels, uh, such, such as Jardin Secré, which is also a five-star boutique. And then we have Maison Alba. We'll be seeing a video of Maison Alba 
Hato that's coming next so that you can get a sense of one of the hotels and then we'll be visiting live uh, the hotel um, Margaret, uh, which is here right in the center of the town. Great. Do you want us to move forward now with the video, Sophie? Go Maison Ivar, and then, and, this is our um, five-star hotel Maison Albar Imperator. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Maison Albar L'Imperator. I'm so happy to welcome you. <laughs> well, this is Jérôme Montantem, who's the general manager of the hotel. Hello. I'm very happy to welcome you, and uh, I would like to invite you to enter in the hotel to to visit our nice property. Wonderful. So maybe you can tell us about the history of the hotel. Uh, the, the, the hotel uh, is a, a very historic uh, place of, uh, of name. You have to know that uh, before to be a, an hotel, it was a, 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 private, uh, a private house uh, and the building has been uh, built in 1929. We kept a very important piece in this, uh, in this hotel. This is the elevator. Yes. I invite exactly. you to do a tour. Beautiful. You would yes. like? Yes, <laughs> let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> ah, thank you. So we are in the in the historic uh, building, the main part of the of the hotel. You have to know that uh, Maison Albert Imperator is 72 uh, rooms and suite. We have 50 rooms in this uh, building and we have 22 rooms in another uh, building where we have some nice apartment. I would like to invite you to follow me. I would like to show you one of these, the apartments uh, of the hotel. Let's go. Let's oh, great. Go. This is a fabulous suite with uh, an amazing view on the garden. And uh, uh, this is a great, great uh, place. We are on the top of the building. You have the kitchenette, you have the living room, you have the nice view on the garden. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. With a very nice bathroom. Walk-in shower. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. You always have the nice view. Wow, with a terrace. But you keep the total privacy. We have yeah. the terrace all along. And we can't forget the nice, uh, the nice bedroom with the with the terrace. And so the terrace is large here. Beautiful sense of space. Uh, you can discover the the, the restaurant. You are told that we have two restaurants. We have a first one is Limpé. This is a, a nice uh, chic restaurant where we have, where we have breakfast, lunch, dinner. This restaurant is open uh, seven days per week. We have a second restaurant, the uh -huh. restaurant uh, uh, Le Duende uh, with Pierre Gagnère, two-star Michelin uh, uh, restaurant. That is a, an amazing uh, uh, place. I would like to invite you to, to, to follow me. This is the restaurant uh, Duende uh, with, uh, with uh, Pierre Gagnère. We have two star uh, Michelin and the, the, the food is amazing. You have to know that Nicolas Fontaine, our chef, is fabulous. The Bar Hemingway is a, is a, is a place where Hemingway uh, uh, really appreciated to, to, to come to, uh, to, to, to have a drink. Uh, when you and, think uh, that we're in the city centre. Yes. Oh, that's, that's this is incredible. It's huh? so quiet. Oh, so yes. Nice. Uh, With a view it, on the garden, it's absolutely lovely. It is fabulous to have a, such oh. a nice garden. Uh, this morning, it was uh, the perfect temperature. It was really great to have, uh, to have breakfast. And yesterday evening uh, at midnight, it was exceptional. Uh, I would be very happy to welcome you for the for the after dinner drink. That is really a, a nice oh, moment. Uh, wonderful moment. I would like to show you the inside swimming pool with the spa. 
and we have a, uh, a swimming pool outside that I will be very happy to show you. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Karen and Mandy, we are waiting for you for Pleased to meet you. a nice moment <laughs> to meet you. in the Kodesh Spa. <laughs> well, four cabins, two double one and two single one. Okay. So it is perfect for couples who like to come for a nice uh, moment together or we can be uh, in the total exclusivity of the single uh, cabin. Oh, this is beautiful. Absolutely lovely. <gasps> yes. So this is for two. Great. There's space as well. And it's nice and relaxed, relaxing atmosphere. Here we have the piscine, we have the swimming pool. What's the temperature of the water? Uh, 28. 28 degrees. Yes. And for the, for the summer, we like to recommend the, the outside swimming pool. Yes. Oh, they can have lunch here? Yes. We have an, a nice uh, selection of... Uh, Good product with salad, with uh, fresh, uh, fresh product. Uh, it's lovely. The chef. Uh, to see a, a, a swimming pool on the first floor. Yeah. Second floor. Mm -hmm. Second floor. No. Very nice. Sophie. Thank you so much for this wonderful tour of your beautiful hotel. Thank you very much, Sophie. It was my pleasure to welcome you this morning. My pleasure to do this tour of the Maison Albert L'Imperator. I wish you a lovely day. Thank you so much. Thank you very Thank much. You. And now it's... Let me, let me say that we have, uh, as a GT experience, an agreement uh, with uh, the Maison Albert because the Maison Albert has, uh, is a chain of hotels they have also four hotels in Paris, uh, the, the Diamond, the, the Pont Neuf, the Vendôme, and the Champs-Élysées. They are very, very good properties, as you can see from the one in Nîmes. And uh, you know, they are very well located all, uh, all around Paris, mainly on the, on the right bank, and uh, really is a, is a very, very good value for the, and they are all uh, practically uh, between five and four star superior hotel. Okay, just a little parenthesis on the presentation. Sophie. Thank you very much, Jenny. Yeah. This is Jerome from uh, Hotel Maison Albar uh, L'Imperator. I'm very sorry. Jenny, thank you very much for, <laughs> for the, 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 the presentation. And, uh, and next time we'll do the visit in live. Huh? Uh, <laughs> I will okay. show you with my camera all the properties. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, it's a, uh, it's it, you're you're lucky. You're lucky to be there. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Jerome. Sophie, are we? Yes. All so right. Now we're, uh, the Hotel Margaret. Hello, welcome. This is the manager of the hotel. Are you coming? Might be here. Come on, Margaret. So let's start a visit. Yes. I'm pleased yes. to have you here. Pleased to have you here in America. So just a quick word regarding our group. So Margaret, Hotel Schuller, belongs to a small group called the Social Club and Social Club Collection. So we do have uh, so our group is uh, our group is uh, a young group, a human-sized group um, born uh, in 2023. Uh, so we do have four pillars. Four pillars to, to guide right, to right, our businesses. So the share, the product, the heritage, and least but not last, the passion. So at the, the social club, so we do have an executive collection of top of restaurants and hotels. So here in Nîmes, at, at the foot of the arena, we've got also a restaurant at the Pontica. We've got also a castle into the vineyard and the lavender fields into, into the drum. Uh, so it's it's a quite it's a big group, a small group with, with strong growth potential. So you will have to to be updated and stay tuned to, to the social play. So if you like, we're going to start to visit by at the hotel. That would be yeah? very nice. Perfect. Yes, thank so you. Please come in. 
Oh, yeah. I mean, let's just go. So, this masterpiece, this masterpiece here, this amazing staircase leading us, leading us up to the room. Beautiful, beautiful. Sophia, we're not able to hear you. Ten, ten rooms, ten boutique hotel. We opened in twenty twenty one. So. We have a okay. Yeah, better like this. Could you could you hear me now? Great. A bit better. Much better. Perfect. So we have so ten rooms here of an interest twenty one. So we do have also it's all about coziness. We've got each rooms are different, but with the same atmosphere. So cozy, pottery, and very charming atmosphere. Let's see also this little boudoir, like a, like a boudoir, this, this, um, this library here with a nasty bar, so our guests can come in this living room at any time and enjoy like a glass of spirit with beautiful books of the area and also gastronomy, of course. But I'm going to show you one of the most magnificent room here at the hotel. It's Uh, we lost Wi-Fi connection. Yeah. Uh, it may come back. So it's a, it's architecturally speaking, um, and all the rooms are more or less in, 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 the same, in the same shape and good condition. So if you like, now, we can uh, go back. Yes, I'm. I, I'm sorry, guys. the The Wi-Fi is not working well. So, Margaret Hotel Schuller. It's not only. A, it's not. Only and our chef Georgina. Mm -hmm. Uh. I think that we have to end uh, this portion of, of yeah. the yeah. chef. Sophie. Hi. So I'm Georgiana. Hi, Georgiana. Yes. Hi. No, just the, the Wi-Fi is is moving in and out. So we've lost a lot of the what you were showing. Uh, it's okay. Sorry. It'll be okay now. For sure it will be okay. It's with me now, so. <laughs> <laughs> Good, Georgiana. Okay, so I'm also the chef. So maybe Arno told you that we have uh, two restaurants here in uh, the Margaret of Shure. No, that's it. Okay. So we have two restaurants. Uh, one uh, gastronomic and one uh, bistro. Like a bistro, like a bistro yeah. yeah. And the gastronomic restaurant. On uh, his, it's a uh, its first uh, star this year, and we are very proud. Congratulations! <laughs> if you want to have a look in uh, at our oh here is the star yeah, <laughs> and if you want to have a look at the restaurant, maybe we should uh, get back downstairs. So maybe could you tell us a little bit about your personal background? Oh uh, yes, I'm a self-made chef. Yes, and um, uh, I've been in. I came in Paris like twenty five years ago uh, for studies, and then I moved to Marseille. I decided to change um, and become a cook. But at the beginning, it was not about uh, gastronomic or whatever. It was just about sandwiches and <laughs> salads. And then step by step, I um, I improved. I improved my uh, cooking. Yeah, that's the right word. My English is not as good as Arnaud's, so uh, that's it. And then two years ago, after the COVID, um, we met with the owner of the place, and then uh, we decided to 
open this restaurant together. And that's it. When we opened, it was not about gastronomic or something, just good food and good, um, yes, good food. And then step by step, we were like, wow, we got this beautiful place. Why not try to, in French, we say, sortir de sa zone de confort. To improve, and yeah. Comfort. Yeah, why not go further uh, with the cooking, with everything, with the cuisine, and that's what we made. But we were very surprised this year when we got the Michelin star because maybe we were, okay, hope maybe in two or three years, but yes, just one year after the occasion, uh, we got it. And so we are very proud, but now we have to keep it. So let's move and see the... You're welcome, Arnaud. Uh, see you, uh, stranger. <laughs> uh, LG, uh, you will find a like, non carte menu, so new with influences of all the Mediterranean, uh, bursting with bursting with flavor. Uh, I'm sorry, but we're we're not able to do this. Uh, and colors here, so we open we open here from. Yeah. All right. Thank you. I I I, yeah. I the uh, unfortunately the video did not work well because of the Wi-Fi connection, but I think that everybody got a good sense of the hotel. Uh, beautiful boutique property. Uh, and congratulations on your one star Michelin. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And we do have a lot of projects to come. So stay tuned to, to the social club. It was a pleasure to have you here, Sophie. Thank you for listening and sorry for the advice. That's okay. Strong... Sorry about that. It's okay. Technology have... happens. That's what we that's what we always struggle with, but that's okay. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you for your complaint. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Bye for now. Bye bye. Merci. Thank, you. Merci. Thank you, Sophie. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, right. so this is uh, yeah, another one of these wonderful destinations, one of wonderful hotels, places to stay. And we're right in the center of the town, and that's extraordinary. The city is very small. I mean, you can cross through it in 10 minutes' time, north and south and east and west so it's easy to live on foot as we sort of said you can park your car or hop on a plane or just come here and uh, and from there you're absolutely free because there's even public transportation to get to different places as well so it's it's beautifully connected and the center is very relaxed and easy to handle and uh, that's the the nice thing about it well I, sophie i have to say you gave us a wonderful tour of the city with uh, some great insight, the absolutely beautiful town. Uh, and we're, we're, we're thrilled to be sending people uh, there next year and through the balance of this year. Yes, well, we'll be very, very happy to welcome you all and we'll try to, you know, to take care of you as well as possible. Thank tourist, you. With the tourist board. Thanks. We 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 have a uh, a little prize that we wanted to hand uh, to to give to a couple of people that uh, uh, attended today. We've got a uh, Johnny. Uh, is a program that he uses to spin the wheel, and someone will uh, will win a will win a stay at the uh, at the Albar. Yes, as, uh, as usual, we have uh, two prizes. Uh, one, uh, uh, one is our uh, coupon of $300 additional discount or commission, if you want, on the on next booking. And uh, the second one is the two nights hotel accommodation at the Albar, at Maison Albar in Nîmes, with uh, included a two day pass uh, for visiting uh, the city of Nîmes. Uh, Eve, Eve, are you trying are you trying to say something Eve? No, okay. Sorry, Tom. Oh, I'm sorry Eve, I thought you were no, trying. My to... micro uh... was off. off. 
Yeah, yeah. I thought you were trying to say something. I wasn't sure. Ah, uh, no, no. no, no, no. Excuse no. me. Excuse me. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, so Johnny, yes. drum roll, please. Okay. Hold on. Uh, hold on one second. So for um, uh, for the three hundred dollar coupon, the the choice is on. Uh, Trip advisor of Los Gatos, Linda Griffin. Linda, if you are here, congratulations. And uh, for the uh, two nights hotel accommodation and the price, uh, it will be for uh, Ruby's Travel, Jen Davis. Jen, congratulations. You Jen. want the two night stay. In, uh, there you go. Congratulations, Jen. Station to both, and uh, stay tuned because we are preparing uh, other webinars that are coming up next uh, in the next uh, weeks, and uh, we will uh, let you know. Thank you very much again, and Tom, if you want to close. Yeah, if, if anybody needs any uh, any questions, just reach out to us. We're happy to to answer whatever you comes to mind after. And uh, we'll, again, this webinar will be on, on our, we'll post it onto our website as well as, um, as well as uh, you'll, you'll see the, the PowerPoint presentation as well. So thank you again. And we'll look to see you guys soon. Bye everybody. Bye everybody. <laughs>